This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to use the file system task to create a directory and then copy another directory into it. So this is the folder we'll be working in. It's called Cozy Rock Tutorial Demos. And I'll be creating a new directory or folder here. And the files that I'll be copying over are everything in this directory or folder called Excel source files. So you can see there's eight Excel files in that folder. And now we'll go to Visual Studio. And I'm going to be using the file system task twice. The first time I'll use it to create the directory. And we double click on it to open the editor. And first I'm going to choose the operation because it'll change what properties are offered to us. So I select create directory. And then we're going to hard code our connection manager the first time through, and then I'll set it up to use a variable for that. So we select new connection, and we're going to be creating a folder. So we choose create folder, and then we can browse. We can browse to find the folder I just showed you. Go to the Rack Tutorial Demos. So I click OK. And then I'll go over to the end of this path and add the name of the new folder. And we'll call it File System Folder. And then we click OK. And now we'll drag the File System task onto the canvas another time. Connect the green arrow. And this one will be used to copy directory. And then we double click to open the editor. And let's go choose the operation, which will be copy directory. And so now we need a destination connection, which is going to be that new, the new folder that we'll be creating in the first task. And then we go to the source connection, so the files or the directory that we're going to copy over. So now we need to create a new connection for this because it will be pointing at a different folder. So we'll select existing folder, and then we'll browse to that folder, Oops. is in Cozy Rock Tutorial Demos, and again, we're copying the Excel source files folder over. We click OK, OK again, and now it's pointing at that new connection manager. So we're using two different connection managers in this step. We click OK. I'll save the package, and right mouse click on the name of the package, and select Execute Package. And it was successful. So now we'll go over to that folder. And here we click open up the file system folder. And there you can see the eight Excel files that are the same Excel files that were in Excel source folder. Stay tuned to see how I changed the tasks to use variables for the source and destination paths. Now I'm going to change the package to use variables for the paths for the source as well as the destination or the new directory. So I'll start by defining those variables. Call the first one source path. And it'll be a string type. And I'm going to go to the folder. 
and okay excel source files will be the, um, the source when we copy over the files so we select copy address as text and paste that in as the value and then we'll create another variable called uh, new directory path again it's a string type and go back to that location and this is the folder that our new directory will be created in so I'll copy this address as text and paste that in for the va value and then I need to add the name of the new directory that we'll create with the package and I'll call that new directory yeah new directory all right now we open up the first file system task and we go down here where it says is source path variable and we'll set that to true and then it says show me the variable so we'll go down here and we use new directory path so that gives the name of the new directory as well as the path to get to where it should be created we'll click ok and now we'll open up the second file system task and um, is destination path variable we'll change that one first to true and then we'll point it at the new directory path that's where we want to copy the files into and here for the source we choose true now that it's a variable and we choose the source variable which is called source path and we click OK and we'll save the package and right mouse click on the name of the package and select execute package and it completed successfully we'll stop debugging and go over to our folder and there's our new directory folder and it should have the eight Excel files in it and it does thank you for watching if you'd like to follow us on social media here's how you can do that